It's actually running! Guys, guys! You know, there's a lot of weird things in this world. And one of those things is Slow Jam has a ginger beard! What are you doing? You gotta flip your hat off. Ah! Slow Jam, you're a ginger. I don't know what this is. I do have ginger in me. And he also found this in his barbecue. Mm, yum. Scrumptious. Well, that's why we're eating free barbecue, beans, and chips. And plastic things. And plastic things here at Trail Days. Trace from Chesapeake, yeah, okay. and uh, we come up every year to do different trail matches. Oh, trail matches here last year. Yeah. 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 It's like Trish and Paddington are the same person. Yeah, that's right. This is One Way Ministries, where we are camping behind, uh, and they do a lot of events, including uh, foot baths. Um, and scrubs that they wash your feet and massage your feet during. Uh, then we did um, some coffee and snacks during the night. And now we are walking to one of the churches down here where Warren Doyle is going to be giving a, uh, a lecture on one of his 17 different through hikes that he's done. He's done the most of any other person going to be interesting. Lots of contests and giveaways. Uh, we are standing here at a raffle for Gregory Packs. I got a new hat. <laughs> Did you win a hat? I got it for free because I bought a lot of shrimp. Sweet! So the uh, hiker parade is about to begin. All hikers and through hikers of, of AT past and future are here to walk in it. As well as possibly darkness and I. Maybe. We gotta walk like back anyway, so might as well do it with uh, the rest of all the hiker trash. So, hiking in the hiker parade, class of 2016, and we lost Purple Mist. She's somewhere, I think, watching the parade. So keep your eyes peeled, everybody. But tradition is you take a, a squirt gun and you squirt the hikers from the side of the parade. Gotta clean us. So that's why we're all wearing our rain gear so that we don't get completely soaked. We are entering the battlefield. The, oh, the water! It's everywhere! I touched it, man. 
Rebel Mist! <laughs> Rebel Mist! I'm in the, I'm in the parade! <laughs> You're in the parade! I was like waiting for you guys. I was like, I'll find them. Like, the best place to see you come through. Woo! Alright, Trish is waiting for us. and he's recommending I take a rest for a little while um, and hopefully let the nerve in there heal up. So I'm gonna ride home with my friend Trish and I'm gonna stay there for about a week and try to rest up and then be back in tip top shape. So I'll see you guys in about a week. These cascades are hardcore. Actually, not really. They're kinda, they're kinda wimpy. So we are on, uh, the mountains just beyond Roan Mountain uh, and Roan, Tennessee, where there was a recent fire as well, similar to Hot Springs, where it just burned away like the top layer of leaves. But as you can see on this side, it didn't quite get over here. So you can see just the difference uh, from the burn and the nut. And again, it's just a very ashy smell uh, it's hard to uh, breathe really because you uh, get a lot of it in your dead. lungs. Dead and alive. Dead and alive. Really creepy. On the trail and ran across this really run down uh, barn, which means we're only 0.2 miles from the hostel where we're gonna pick up a package that uh, Purple Mist's mother sent to us full of, I think some mountain house type meals and brownies. Oh yes, brownies. Uh, 0.2 miles off the trail, walking on the road to get to Kinkora Hostel. So, we made it to Kinkora Hostel, uh, somewhere just after uh, Laurel Forks. Uh, I, I believe that's uh, there's falls. I think we'll be going over those tomorrow. Uh, but this place is, uh, they said, one of the oldest uh, hostels on the AT. Uh, guys uh, coming here since the 70s. Um, it's, uh, hi guys. <laughs> it's uh, a very historic place. They got showers and bathrooms and laundry. And let's uh, take a look at the bunkhouse. Ooh, there's like a cool little living space in here with, uh, you know, couches to chill on. Um, the ceiling is just lined with 
uh, Katahdin photos just from everyone who's completed the, the trail in the past just expressing their thanks to this hostel um, but then we are up here in the bunkhouse that's mine right over there and uh, it's just a really nifty place it's definitely got character you can definitely tell that it's been here a good long time there's 17 trail cats purple mist will like that uh, and there's uh, even pet raccoons and a pet possum so this place has uh, got some definitely fun fun stories about it uh, so we are approaching Laurel uh, Fork Falls um, and crossing this cool bridge and looking at this exposed rock face uh, like this is pretty much the first uh, time we've seen something to this caliber but uh, it's just really nice out here I love rivers and love uh, watching the rapids uh, roll through and especially the waterfalls that we're about to come up on and this is Laurel Fork Falls beautiful oh my gosh it's huge I was not expecting such a gorgeous a gorgeous scene oh man it's just a raging river here oh and it is awesome people out here fishing it is just so cool I love it so sometimes the trail likes to go wonky on us and just straight up send this on the edge of the river so this is fun whoa oh man Daddy <laughs> want a slice of mushroom tree pizza there's plenty to go around at Watoga, Watuga, Wataga Lake, whatever it is, and we're gonna go for a swim. <laughs> that was terrible. Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 it's good. Actually, that's not that bad. It's colder than I want to be. Butterflies! Butterflies everywhere! They're overtaking us! Well, as you've noticed, uh, we ran into snail and sandals and basin flower again on the trail. And uh, just shortly after leaving Damascus for trail days. And we are going through the Watuga Lake area um, where it's been said that bear activity has been uh, very thick and to be very careful in this area because uh, they are everywhere and they have been taking food from people and approaching people so we are to be very cautious and get through here as fast as we can don't eat or camp in order to protect ourselves and the bears so we may run into them the guy before us said he saw two so this might be interesting ah! Are they all empty? All of them. This is just the remains of track. Wow, 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 wow. Better than hiking. Yeah, we got some McDonald's, courtesy of the commissioner, a fellow through hiker, and it is heaven. Mm. I want to do. Uh, like you gotta enjoy the lakeside afternoon stroll. Yeah, maybe we are safe to cross now because the bears heard us and they ran away. Maybe that's true. Oh, shit, it's actually running. Guys, guys. So 
we came across a bear right on the trail that was guarding its two cubs and it started charging at us uh, like running full speed right at us and darkness was the only sensible one that stopped and like started screaming and raised his sticks in the air and it stopped this huge mother bear in its tracks can you see this that's oh. darkness yelling at the bear and the bear saying bye and that thing started, it stopped, it turned around and ran off. And so we started getting behind him and screaming and chasing it off as well. But darkness was the manliest, the manly, did the manliest thing I've ever seen in my I entire did life. I the least manly thing. <laughs> I pushed Sunflower away and <laughs> ran past my wife. I am okay, okay. so sorry. I will, I will feel a little bit sympathetic. He doesn't have any trekking poles, so there's nothing <laughs> that could help. So, I so in other words, you're just like not like intimidating in the least then. Nope. Sorry, baby. I cannot Thanks. run everybody else. <laughs> wow, okay, so we just made it past the area where that bear was and came out across this really so crazy rock canyon area. And we're crossing the uh, Watuga Dam. Uh, but we had to call uh, uh, like the, the wildlife services. And they had to contact the state and everything and they told us like proceed with caution and like do not look it in the eye and just be very very careful so we we made it across um we're not really out of the danger zone yet but we almost will be so see you later watuga lake and your crazy bear activity onward ho there's not too many times you get to enjoy an awesome dinner cooking on this amazing cliffside overlooking a view like this, especially after the longest day on the trail, 17.7 miles, being chased by bears, going down to waterfalls, up to the top of the mountain, back down, then up some mountains more, and it's just really nice to be done for a day. Uh, so. We get days like this all the time where it's just pouring rain and the forecast is it's not going to stop all day. So the only thing we really can do is push on, hike in the rain. So they say no rain, no pain, no main. Gotta do it. <laughs> we are going into this cow pasture just surrounded by all these cows to get through the trail. I'm kind of afraid we're going to come across a bull <laughs> get charged like we did a bear the other day. Hopefully uh, standing and screaming will work just the same. But I'd rather not find out, so let's just get through here. Pretty cows. These cows oh. are in love. This cow is lonely. This is our friend uh, Swiss Opa from Switzerland. He's gonna yodel. Do not look up that word, children. All right, today is uh, May 18th. This is day 52 for us. Uh, we are on our road, uh, or on the road to Damascus, Virginia. We'll be crossing the uh, border from Tennessee into Virginia today. So this is our last nine miles of the state of Tennessee. So it's very exciting to finally be done with another state and entering the great state, our home state of Virginia. So uh, Purple Mist will be joining us again, just shy of Grayson Highlands, uh, about 23 miles after we reach, reach um, Damascus. So. Not too much longer. So if you listen carefully, there are birds behind us, and it is the red-eyed vireo, and they make the sound, where are you? Here I am. Where are you? Here I am. And so when Purple Mist is with me, I always say, where are you? Oh. Where are you? Oh, crossing into Virginia. We've made it to Damascus, Virginia on the Appalachian Trail, a mecca for 
uh, hikers and bicyclists who are doing the Appalachian Trail and the Virginia Creeper Trail. And uh, this place uh, is one of the most popular spots on the trail uh, because it goes, the trail once again goes right through the town just like Hot Springs. And uh, it was where we were at during trail days. This is where all the vendors were set up. It's very empty now. We're at the place where we just made it in in time before he the heavens opened and just poured down all its rain all over the place. I'm glad to be indoors. Stayed here at the place, uh, an awesome uh, historical a hostel. <laughs> These are the guys are taking the care of it. Yes. Hostel taker. Of the place, yes. Uh, it's very awesome. This is where uh, Purple Mist's dad stayed, I think, uh, a number of years back when he used to do biking. Um, but here were the bunks that we stayed in. Uh, it was very, uh, very nice. It was cool through here because uh, the air would just roll into these tall windows. They said this uh, building was built back in the 1800s. Uh, so it's just very classic, uh, very awesome. Greatly enjoyed our stay here. Um, we got uh, to eat dinner with the church that this is uh, sponsored by as well. So it was an um, overall fantastic experience. Just ate breakfast at Mojo's Trailside Cafe and Coffee. It's delicious. And we are going to walk back down to Hey Joe's and get ourselves burritos to go onto the trail. Mighty burritos. But uh, uh, this is Trail Town USA and it has uh, very much felt like it. Hikers all over the place as you can see. Um, but it's been a good stay. Hey, <laughs> miss, dark miss. Yeah, see you guys later on the trail. It's been good to us. Thank you, Damascus, Virginia. Oh, Joe's was closed. So we're walking back on the Virginia Creeper Trail, which is the bike trail that runs through Damascus. Back on the Creeper Trail again. Where are you? Where are you? Here I am. Not you. Oh. <laughs> uh, it is May 20th, uh, which would make it day 54 for us. Um, Purple Mist is officially rejoining us today uh, back on the trail. She's going to meet us right before Grayson Highlands National Park uh, where wild ponies roam about. Um, it's going to be nice for her to join, uh, join me again. Uh, while it's been cool to be able to go at like a faster pace um, off on my own, uh, it gets lonely out here without your significant other so it'd be nice to have her by my side again because um, we set out here to do it together and that's how I want to do it so I can't wait for her to be back I see you darkness I see you there hiking that trail hiking that trail hiking that trail I see you darkness darkness bear wall that's true I fight bears or bear wall of darkness Ooh. That one, that one rolls off the tongue. It does roll. Oh, Virginia is so very, very beautiful. So a lot of the AT is, it still runs through, you know, privately owned land. So oftentimes the trail runs right through the middle of, you know, farms where cows and horses are. So it's pretty cool to see them up close. I'm afraid I'll run into a bull somewhere, and I do not want to be charged. So I'm up here on Buzzard Rock, about mile 490, and it's a very overcast day. Woo! <laughs> and that wind. Oh, I had to stop and put, put extra layers on because it's so cold. <laughs> and here it is.
Where are you?